You put some cream on these ashy, ashy elephant hands. I don't even know how pen got on my hand. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video that I actually saw Nikki Tutorials do and she did a video using her mum's makeup and I believe her skincare as well because she has like a skin, her mum has this skincare range I think but today I'm just going to be using my mum's makeup I went in her makeup stash and took a bunch of stuff If there's one thing that you need to know about my mum is that she loves makeup She loves it she always has and i think that's why i love it so much because she, i used to play with all her makeup when i was little and she used to do little makeovers on me um when i was little and on my sister so i do give her a lot of my makeup that i receive um and you know because I, I can't use every single bit of it so i do give some to her my sister i try not to grab the stuff that i gave her i grab some things that i know she bought and she uses quite a lot i'm quite worried though first of all she's a bit darker than me so that the, might not be my shade um but yeah we're gonna just jump straight into it and we'll see how this goes <laughs> okay i have a little i have a little pouch here um you'd be surprised the things my mom buys honestly sometimes i just ask myself like, huh? hello i'm trying to find a brow pencil she doesn't have brow gel she just uses brow pencil I actually need to get her I need to get her some good brow stuff okay she's got the L'Oreal brow artist shaper she uses like the pencil kind look at that pen on my hand oh let's cover that she uses the pencil kind I don't even know what color this is in oh wait it's dark brunette I'm gonna do a natural Getting a little harsh, little harsh. Okay, do you know what? I'm just gonna use a spoonie from my brow pencil. The brow pencil's not doing too bad. I really don't like using brow pen, like actual brow pencils. So I feel like I don't have much control over it, like over how much product goes. They're usually quite harsh, like that's super dark, but that's okay. Just trying to make it a little thicker. Righty, oh, so those are the brows done. It's starting off really well, actually. Okay, what's next? Shall we just jump on to? Fine, let's do our base. Let's do our base. Right. So my mum uses this Dior Skin Nude Air Serum Foundation. It's called the Nude Healthy Glow Ultra Fluid Serum Foundation. I feel like when I'm on camera, I can't read. I actually can't. But my mum absolutely loves Dior. She loves Dior, YSL. Those are Dior, the Dior Forever Foundation is one of her favourites. The YSL Touche Eclat, like she loves those two brands. She's she's always used them. That's the only thing she wants to use. Um, she does also really like the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. But anyways, this is the one that she's been using a lot lately, and this is the Nude Air Serum de Tain Foundation in 050. Oh my god. I really don't like serum foundations most of the time. <gasps> it's so dark. Oh dear lord. I think this is a little dark for my mum as well. What the, what the, what is going on? She does mix a lot of her foundations, but they all seem the same colour to me, so I think I'm putting way too much. Okay, we got this. Just got a tan. I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not gonna bother putting this down my neck. That is so dark. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness, so dark. I'm actually quite a bit paler than my mom actually. But anyways, let's go on to concealer. I've got some Dior 
star concealer right here. My mum's quite bougie. I'm not going to put too much because this concealer is really, I think, pricey. I think I actually got this for her. I'm going to put some over the lids as well. It's got, it hasn't got that bad of coverage. I look like an Oompa Loompa. Okay, so my mum bought this powder from Wish. I think this is Wish. It's called Bare Stee Banana Luxury Powder and it literally looks like the banana powder. She sees me use it a lot and she thought she'd go and buy one on Wish. And I found this one. She does have other powders but we're going to use this for the under eyes. See, so, yeah. I hope I won't die. Using this powder from Wish. By the way, this is what the powder looks like. It didn't do a bad job, but I just roughly put some on there. And I'm just going to brush off the excess. I really, really, really need to wash all my brushes a day. That is my mission. My mum loves this powder by MAC. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face. I think it's too dark as well for me. Just, uh, the foundation is actually not that bad if you don't look at the color. Like it feels really nice. And it had good coverage as well actually. So my mum does not like to wear bronzer. So she uses blush instead. And I'm gonna be using this MAC Desert Rose Matte blush I mean <laughs> I'm just gonna brush this on my cheeks my mom likes quite a bit of blush across my cheeks and she also loves this number seven shimmer palette it's like a highlighter she loves highlight but she seems to really like this one apart from the other ones I've given her like she uses this one a lot Not bad. It's pretty pretty. My mum knows her highlighters. On the pinky side, but again, she loves blush, so I can I understand why she likes this one. And my face is it's kind of looking good, you know. We're gonna move on to eyes now. Um, I found this palette. She has a bunch of palettes that I've given her, but she has this one that I haven't seen. Uh, my mum loves to wear like colours like this on her eyes, so I'm gonna probably like mix these two or something. She don't really wear like matte shades. I never see her wear matte shades. She always wear like shimmery shades. But I'm using that dark maroon shade. And try and make it work. Don't really like to put shimmery colours in my crease. If there's also another thing that you want to know about my mum is that she can wear like really bright colours like bright eyeshadows, bright lips so effortlessly like it looks normal on her like but if I were to go out like that it wouldn't look normal but she can wear it so well. Um, so this is like if you're just like oh my god your mum actually wears crazy makeup she wears it really well. I'm actually kind of digging this eyeshadow. So this is the this is the colour that I've been using and I'm going to use some of this. I don't know, that, that deep maroon shade, burgundy shade was really nice, like really pigmented, but this, this purple is having some type of trouble. She has this Sephora Crayon Coal pencil in Nude. Infinite Beige. It's like an eye pencil by Sephora. She got this in France. Um, it needs a good sharpen, but I can't be bothered, so I'm just going to put this on. Uh, this stuff is creamy. Then, guys, you wouldn't believe what I found. She has a Coke eyeliner. Coke eyeliner. 
I don't even know where she found this. This, but basically you twist the top off and it's literally eyeliner. I can't talk when I do liner. Okay, so I also found this Lash Impact by number seven. Um, this was again one of her <laughs> mascaras and this is a waterproof. I don't like waterproof. It was the only one I could see that I did not give her. Okay, so my mom doesn't really put anything on her lower lashes. Okay, so now onto lips. The final thing I'm gonna use is this lipstick by W7. I remember we went Westfield one day and she found this kind of bought it and she wore it on the day and this lady stopped her and was like what lipstick are you wearing it looks so good on her but I don't know how this is gonna look on me but it's like this really deep metallic kind of purple It's not that bad, is it? What do you guys think? I feel like I look really, really dark. I think if it wasn't for the foundation, this makeup look wouldn't be too bad, you know? Look at that lipstick colour though. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Obviously, it's definitely like out there. And I've, sometimes my mom wears bright eye makeup and like salt on her lips. Or sometimes she does both, but it looks good. So, I don't know. I'm not wearing it well because it just doesn't suit my face shape and the, my features. But it does suit her. It's just the foundation. I think it was if it wasn't for the foundation, it would be good. But the foundation feels really nice, actually. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!